This is Giacomo. It is currently the 29th of March, 2024. I'm placing microphone ZH20 in case C20 at Point Parque Nacional Braulio Carillo 1. It's currently 11.01 a.m. We're doing kind of this legendary uh, push of field work to try to record bioacoustics data across the entire country. We are aiming to get around 1,000 to 1,200 points. We're getting good representation from across all the eco regions in Costa Rica. Uh, and that's something that's really exciting and, and really up until now has been difficult to do with these other uh, methodologies, whether that's you know, on the ground taxonomic surveys by experts or whether that's camera trapping or eDNA. And so we're really pushing the boundaries of kind of using new technology to give us these like really broad scale inferences into nature recovery, ecological communities, uh, natural dynamics and, and these sorts of things. I placed out those microphones. They've been listening to all types of sound for the past eight days. So whether that's monkeys or toucans or insects or amphibians, they've been listening to all of that day and night and, and now they're kind of ready to come home. There is so much ecological information that really goes beyond our capacity to really manageably understand, especially when you start recording these massive data sets, right? Uh, so for example, in our study, we plan to get more or less 16 years of, of recordings um, out, of this, out of this sampling push, which just means it's, it's far beyond what anyone could reasonably listen to. And even if you were to listen to it all, there's so much that we still don't understand about how sound works, about how animals use it to interact, uh, even about things that are kind of more abstract, right? Like what the sound of wind through trees or the sound of rain falling on different types of ecosystem tells us about the biodiversity and the complexity of the structure of the forest. What we try to do is we try to gain insights in terms of things like the occupancy of frequencies or um, the levels of acoustic energy and, and use those things to kind of relate it to to events that we know of. Uh, so for example, a great example is the, is the dawn chorus, uh, which is this really strong behavior that at the beginning of the day where, where lots of things become acoustically active and we can kind of look to this as a signature and, and use it to compare between different ecosystems, looking for it kind of like a, a vital sign of a healthy forest. It's really nice to be able to kind of feel uh, that that identity of the forest um, when we're here it's just totally different sounds to the sounds that we hear when we're in those kind of high altitude drier forests or even those low really wet rain forests it's just a joy to be out here and, and, and spend time listening